Imagine a single decision that could poison an entire continent. That's exactly what happened on April 26, 1986, in the dead of night, at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Soviet Ukraine. A safety test went catastrophically wrong, but an explosion, a thousand times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb, in terms of radiation release, ripped through reactor number 4, unleashing an invisible enemy into the atmosphere. The first firefighters on the scene had no idea what they were up against. They thought it was a normal roof fire. They walked into a radioactive inferno without proper protection, receiving fatal doses of radiation within minutes. Nearby, residents of the city of Pripyat watched the beautiful multicolored flames dancing in the night sky, completely unaware that they were being showered with deadly radioactive dust. The Soviet government, in a chilling display of Cold War secrecy, tried to cover it all up, while radioactive clouds drifted across Europe, setting off alarms in Sweden. The people living next to the exposed reactor were told nothing. It took them six hours before buses finally arrived to evacuate Pripyat's 50,000 residents. They were told it was temporary, just for a few days. They left everything behind, pets, family photos, their entire lives. They would never return. The contaminated area, known as the Exclusion Zone, is a ghost land, a haunting time capsule of a world abandoned in a heartbeat. The cleanup was a monumental, almost suicidal effort. Brave souls, known as liquidators, were sent in to contain the disaster. Miners dug a tunnel beneath the melting reactor core in extreme heat and radiation to prevent a second, even larger explosion. Helicopter pilots flew daring missions over the open reactor, dropping sand, lead, and boron to smother the fire, with many paying the ultimate price. The Chernobyl disaster wasn't just a nuclear accident, it was a turning point. The lies and secrecy exposed the deep flaws in the Soviet system, fueling demands for transparency and reform, a movement known as Glasnost. Today, a massive steel structure, the new safe confinement, encases the ruins of Reactor 4, a silent monument to the world's worst nuclear catastrophe and a stark reminder of the terrifying power we VA unlocked. Thanks for watching, and if you found this story as chilling as I do, hit that subscribe button for more.